Hi there guys, it's Rick here again. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Well, I'm extremely cold. It's absolutely freezing over here in the UK. Uh, the winter has arrived. Anyway, I'll stop moaning. Um, hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. We're gonna continue, as I said in the previous video, we're gonna take a look at uh, pentatonics with, with a similar kind of hybrid picking idea. I'm gonna show you two particular examples with this pentatonic scale, uh, two hybrid picking examples, but we'll get to that shortly. First thing I wanna do though is show you the pattern that we're actually going to be using. It's actually quite a simple um, concept I've seen other guys talk about it, like the two, one, two, one, two, one, however many it is concept. Um, and it's literally where you take a pentatonic scale and you just drop one of the notes out, uh, or you just drop some notes out. That's how I see it anyway. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna uh, do it in the key of G. So we're thinking G minor pentatonic here. And the way that I think of it is literally three notes per string like that. Uh, so let me do that nice and slowly. So that's our basic shape that we're going to use, but we're going to drop um, some of the notes out. Um, so on the A string, we're going to drop the third out. Okay, we're going to keep this note in. Then we're going to drop the root out on the G string. So we get, okay. Then we're gonna drop the third out again on the B string. So we, we get this note. And we're gonna drop the flat seven out on the top E string. So we get this. Great sounding uh, sort of wide interval uh, pattern that. Um, so like I said before, it's nothing too complex. Once you understand that it's just basically a straight head G minor pentatonic, uh, we're just emitting some of the notes. And we are getting two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so that's the basic shape. Try and familiarize yourself with that. Take it steady, try and find a specific way of articulating it. It's important to practice lots of different ways of articulating it. Uh, what I usually do, how I articulate it is, if I'm just picking, just to give you an example, I, I would hammer, if it's two notes on a string, I would hammer when ascending, obviously. I usually hammer and pull off at the top. Uh, sometimes I will do left hand only to get that real smooth sound when descending, not all the time though. Uh, anyway, you can experiment with that. Uh, what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to look at two specific hybrid picking patterns that I use with this shape. And uh, in the previous video, we've looked at a similar one, and we're going to start with that one. So let's first off, let's take a look or take a listen, or both take a look and a listen um, to the example over our backing track. Okay, good, so let's break that down. So again, we're, we're sticking with our, our basic shape that I showed you at the start here. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this. We're gonna start with a down stroke, then we're gonna play middle finger with the right hand. And then repeat that pattern. Down, middle, down, middle, down, middle, down, middle, down, middle, down, middle, off, on. And we do that to turn the shape around. <laughs> so there's our shape there. And again, um, once you've gotten the, the, the movement of the down middle, uh, it really, the, the speed tends to come by itself. Uh, try not to push it too much though, just get yourself familiar with that movement first 
before you start blasting away um, too quickly. So um, let me just play it for you once more. There we are, that's our first pattern. Okay, let's take a look at the second example now over the backing track. Right, this is just a straight ahead group, uh, groups of four here, um, using, again using the same shape, so, so we just get groups of four, down, hammer, ring finger, middle finger, so middle ring, okay, down, hammer, middle, ring, and then we're going to go down, middle, ring, hammer on. And here I go down, middle, hammer, middle, down, hammer, middle, ring, okay? And then we're going to descend in the same fashion. Actually, these two notes are hammer from nowhere. And I go ring, middle, down, off, middle, down, off, hammer, middle, off, and what we're going to do here, just to make it fit in terms of the groups of four, is add the third in at the bottom. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, hopefully you've enjoyed these examples. Um, what I've done actually, I've written this little uh, study that incorporates uh, specifically that first pattern because I really, really enjoy playing that at the moment. So I've written a little study, um, which I'm, I'm, I may well release the video tomorrow, if not Thursday. So hopefully this is kind of um, preparing you um, to be able to play that study efficiently and effectively. Okay, we shall end there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you do, make sure you check out my website. Link is in the description box below. Um, there's lots of downloadable content there and it's a fantastic way of supporting what I do so I can continue to make videos like this. All right, thanks for checking in guys and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.